Hello, I'm Bill Stainton, executive producer of Almost Live. As many of you are probably aware, today is April 1st, April Fool's Day. You're probably wondering what wacky and crazy prank we're going to pull on this, the funniest day of the year. Will it be as good as the stunt we pulled six years ago when we said the space needle had fallen over? <laughs> Sure, that was a good one. <laughs> but those of you who read about that little joke in this week's National Enquirer saw that it, quote, triggered a panic. Well, hindsight being 2020, perhaps we did go a bit too far. But we've learned our lesson. And I'm happy to say that six years later, the Space Needle is still standing. The I-90 bridge fell apart and sank. <laughs> and of course, the Kingdom roof fell down. But the Space Needle, still standing. <laughs> so we won't be making any April Fool's jokes about the Space Needle tonight, particularly in light of the fact that, just moments ago, the giant basketball that was perched on the roof of the Space Needle fell off. <laughs> it took a bad bounce off the Science Center and dribbled its way down Denny, <laughs> seriously damaging a Plymouth Reliant driven by Seattle Times columnist Eric Lasitas. <laughs> That, of course, and the fact that we're all still in mourning for Belgium, which exploded this afternoon. <laughs> so no April Fool's jokes today. Just good, clean fun. Oh, and uh, by the way, you've got just a little something on your shirt. No, j yeah, just... just a little. <laughs> in Seattle because it has been such a big week here with lots of things happening in the news. The Final Four is underway, which is really exciting. Yeah, a lot of Final Four. A lot of Final Four fans here. Governor Lowry made his apologies this week, which was very exciting. Uh, yeah. And uh, Microsoft Bob went on sale, which is really exciting. But right now, we want to focus on one very, very special story. A story about a drywaller from Kent. We all know about... I think you know who I'm talking about. The man now known as the Ex-Lax Bandit. We know about this... Familiar with this guy? Apparently this guy, this Kent drywaller was... He was constipated and he bought some Ex-Lax to do what Ex-Lax does. Only this Ex-Lax didn't. So, as we now know, the guy, he wrote to Ex-Lax people demanding his $1.99 back. And several days later, this drywaller who I have to imagine by this time is not feeling real good. <laughs> he, he, gets, he gets a check from x -Lax, as it said on the front page of both papers uh, this week. Only the check isn't for $1.99, it's for $98,002, which... Woo! Right. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a big lotto to the people here. It's like a big lotto, which just happens to be the guy's zip code, 98002. And basically everyone in the city did the same thing that I did. If I had sent that, I would have made $108 more. There's like their zip code, everyone's comparing their zip code. Anyway, anyway, to make a long story, if he'd lived in New York, he would have got 10 grand. That's the, uh, the great thing about in the Northwest, our zip codes are high. So when x -Lax sends the refunds, we get 100 grand here almost, you know. Yeah. Right. 
crown. Chicago, 60609, Spiegel catalog. They're getting six. Uh, anyway, anyway, to make a long story short, uh, the guy cashes the check and he disappears. He just vanishes with the money. So <laughs> now we've got a very rich, very constipated drywaller <laughs> from Kent running around with $98,000 of Exlax money. And I'm thinking that this guy shouldn't be that hard to catch because, you know, first of all, you have to ask yourself, how fast can a seriously constipated guy, you know, how fast is he gonna run? And second, you have to remember, you can take the man out of Kent, but you can't take Kent out of the man even. He's got $98,000, doesn't it? With this in mind, there are several things the police should watch out for. For example, a guy wearing a mink-lined Peterbilt cap would be... <laughs> anybody overheard in a restaurant ordering caviar and a Schmidt? Uh, or anyone driving a Mercedes 300 SEL with a gun rack and those mud flaps with the naked girls on them? You know, that's a dead giveaway right there. Plus the fact that by now this guy is very, very constipated. In fact, he's leaving a pretty obvious trail as he makes his way across the country. You can see some of the evidence on this map, some of the reports coming in. You see here in Spokane, there are uh, reports of a man buying $27,000 worth of stewed prunes. That happened in uh, <laughs> down here. Sun Valley, Idaho, uh, a week later, a little later, an expensive Sun Valley resor resort received a 50-pound Federal Express shipment of Mexican tap water, which is suspicious. <laughs> Up here. In, in Bozeman, Montana, a new Lexus has, was seen parked at a rest stop for three days. And witnesses <laughs> who saw the driver emerge say he looked really frustrated and angry. <laughs> and finally, right down here, a, a 7-Eleven clerk in Rapid City, South Dakota, reported a desperate-looking man buying out the entire stock of Haley's M.O. So it's obviously, if that weren't all, police have a pretty good artist's rendering of the X-Lax Bandit. I think we have that. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> That is the guy, so, yeah, it's just, the, the, it, it, the story has everything. He's a drywaller from Kent who got a hundred grand from x -Lax. You can't write premises, but I mean, it's just, <laughs> fell from heaven there. I'm guessing that he would have skipped town even if he'd got the dollar ninety-nine back, so I don't know, but, but he got ninety. So he's out there somewhere, and uh, they're chasing him, and we'll keep you updated. So anyway, anyway, that's what Seattle's been talking about this week. That, of course, and Martin Landau's unfortunate speech at the Oscars. But there is another big awards show coming up, and I believe we have a preview here. Take a look. You've seen the Oscars, the Emmys, and the Grammys. This Sunday, tune into Public Access Channel 29 for the Washington Access Cable Awards, better known as the Wacky. <laughs> Enjoy an evening with your favorite Access stars right from the moment they arrive at the Palm Room of the City Center Motel on Aurora Avenue. Look, there's Seth from the show Seth, the Human Time Bomb. And Stan, the host of Beard Talk. And Kara, host of Body Piercing Near the Groin. Thank you. I'll be back to see you later. Oh, thank you. Join us behind the scenes for the first meeting between the hosts of Gays for Jesus and Gays for Satan. <laughs> see the finest performers live on stage from Arnie, the reptile cheese carver. They do it all from this half block of cheese. To Carl, host of You're Not in Hell, It's Just Karaoke. Stand back, stand back. Look in love the room, I did not hear from you. Enjoy the witty repartee when the host of Lactating Today presents an award with the host of Say Huh-Uh to Circumcision. So, Tom, are you keeping abreast of today's hot access show? Actually, Lynn... For me, it's a little lower than that. <laughs> Hear the spontaneous acceptance speeches by winners like the guy who lives in someone's basement and has a lot of conspiracy theories. And another thing, who would benefit the most from seeing Walt Disney dead, huh? Not my mom. Wait, I'm not done yet. I, hey, I'm not done yet. I can walk. See who will be named best host of an access program. From nominees like Gus, from Bathing with okay. Gus. Get some soap on your loofah. 
and here we go. Scrape, scrape, scrape. That's right, three times. Now, and your spooky neighbor who's learned how to use a video camera. The, the, the slug comes along like this, and it thinks it's a little house, and it goes in, and it's trapped. It's a slug trap. And then, quick with the salt. <laughs> That'll take care of them. They're going to be dead pretty soon. <laughs> and there's more thrilling categories, like best cross-dressing host of a talk or current affairs program, best rationalization for Lyndon LaRouche, Best excuse to show someone buck naked. And best show taped in a garage or rec room. But of course the big one is best cable access show, which this year includes important issues and crank calls. Tonight the subject is crime. Dave and Bothell, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, Eat me! Eat me! <laughs> yeah, eat me, man! And the lesbian folk singer's Christmas special. I saw mommy kissing Mrs. Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. And your host for this year's Wackies is none other than the Reverend Barney Howell. I hope you will join me. Death, destruction, wacky. The 1995 Wackies, taped in 1987 for broadcast at this time. All right, stay with us. We've got a great show, and we'll be right back. Almost Live is sponsored in part by Cool Filtered Miller Genuine Draft, making the Northwest a very cool place. Right, Snapple iced tea is delicious tea. And since I'm originally from England, I know what I'm talking about. Anyone care to chime in on this? The English know tea better than anyone else. It tastes very refreshing. It's a nice cup of tea. Delicious with fish. Fruity. It would be good to drink with a treacle pudding. Snapple, made from the best stuff on earth. Try this in your own country. <laughs> Briars has created a spectacular ice cream dessert called Vionetta. But despite its delicious premium ice cream, with its irresistible crisp chocolatey layers, Vionetta could leave you with one small problem. Vionetta from Briars. One slice is never enough. No matter how high the thermometer climbs, or how sticky the humidity gets, nothing will be hotter this summer than the deals you'll get during Jeep Summer Days, where you can get up to $1,200 in option package values on Jeep Grand Cherokee, values over $1,300 on Jeep Cherokee Sport, including no-charge air, and deals that are truly steamy on the legendary Jeep Wrangler. But you'd better hurry in, because deals this incredibly hot are bound to cool down fast. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. Welcome to Focus on Youth. You know, young people today are under a heavy burden. They see violence on TV, unruly behavior in school and on the street, and they have precious few positive role models to look up to. But I'm happy to say that because the Final Four is in town, Focus on Youth is able to welcome two of the finest role models and motivators of young people today. One of the winningest coaches in basketball history, Bobby Knight from University of Indiana, and from the defending champion, Arkansas Razorbacks, Nolan Richardson. Oh, welcome, welcome, gentlemen. Now, I'm sure the young people 
watching today are eager to hear your advice on how to grow up to be a good citizen. Now, Bo Bobby, what advice can you give them? Well, I'll tell you. I think these uh, kids, if they stay focused, if they, you know, move forward and execute well, they're going to have what it takes to put it all together. Now, they need good role models. Hey, 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 three seconds, three seconds. He's going way over. Now, where's the whistle? Come on, ref, uh, get in the uh, show, uh, man. Uh, 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 coach, coach, we're not, we're, we're not timing it that way. Like, I mean, we, Bobby was, uh, so we're talking about positive role models. Yeah. Did, did you have something that you wanted to add to what Bobby was saying? Wait a minute, I had possession. Well, okay. What the hell kind of call was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that some of these kids come from a difficult background. Now, you can't take a child out of a troubled environment and put him in another place. <laughs> There's a foul. He's hacking. Get out of here, man. He's hacking there. Okay. I mean, come on. What show are you watching, ref? Okay. It sure the hell isn't okay. this one. Okay, okay. All right. Now, look, look. Bobby, Bobby, the ref says you can take it out now. Uh, could we hear some, you know, positive words for the, the kids that are watching? You know, the ki ki kids are watching. Ki so you ki might, kids, yeah. You might want to yeah. consider that when you're, you know, using your language, okay? All right. All right. The, the problem, problem with kids... <laughs> okay, the ref says you guys have to jump for it. <laughs> and then, uh, could, could we hear something real positive, okay? <laughs> Nuts! Now, I think the problem is the family. And then again, the government could help, but I guess the family's important. And then again, the government can pay hey, over and back. He's over and back. Come on. Where's the whistle, you moron? Okay, that's that's a technical, Bobby. Uh, if you can step back, uh, Coach, you've got a chance to make a free point here. Oh, thank you. Now, I'd like, the, the point I'd like to make is a... Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, Coach, you oh, missed damn, the point. Look, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're running out of time. Uh, Bobby, do you, do you have some, can you leave us with something sort of positive for the young people today? I like young people. I like young people. Yep, double dribble, man! Oh, come on! Okay, <laughs> out of here. That's the best time you called it, you pinhead! Yeah, I'm leaving you! I'm taking okay. a shower! Okay. Not a problem. No, 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 no. I want to thank our coaches. And next week we welcome Charles Barkley. Oh, never mind, never mind. It called to him. With all the richness of Colombia, it called. Folgers new Colombian Supreme. Dark and rich and wildly Colombian. A Colombian like no other. It was darker than the leading Colombian brand. Dark, yet not bitter. It made them happy. It made their morning. And then, it made them want more. Folgers new Colombian Supreme. It will call you. You'll love how new we're looking. You'll love how hot we're cooking the yeah. air. How do you top the hottest pizza we've ever introduced? How about grilled chicken? Three deliciously different grilled chicken combinations on our new stuffed crust. A large is just $12.99. With all that delicious grilled chicken and all that cheese in the crust, you might not know where to start. You love the stuff we made of pizza. I am climate controlled. My temperature a constant 70 degrees. I am scrubbed of pollen, free of dust, void of pollution. So, why can't I breathe? On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Picture this. Camp out at Annie McDowell's Montana Hideaway. Hang out at the ultimate celebrity picnic. Check out the hottest slips and beauty secrets of the summer. Picture in style celebrating the world's most famous lives from the publishers of People. Get in style today. All wound up? Watch Nightstand with Dick Dietrich. Comedy doesn't get any more better. Almost Live is sponsored in part by your local Jeep Eagle dealer.
working on our beautiful New England home here, which we've painted blue with white trim. And right here, let's put a big bedroom window. A happy little window. Yes. And next to it, let's put a, a smaller window. But not too small. It's a bathroom window. Still big enough that we can look right into it. Let me see. Someone getting into the shower there. She's about 19 or 20 years old. Yes. She's in the shower, but it's got those glass doors so we can still look in. Yeah. yeah. Let's put her twin sister here, too. She's also just getting into the shower with her sister. But let's don't make her completely naked. Let's, let's put a little cap on her. Let's get her hair wet. Now they're both in the shower together. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say they're triplets. And... John report. I'm John. Here's my report. Well, a number of people were arrested earlier this week for attempting to set up a safe haven for homeless people near the kingdom. Said one police official, those people were way off base thinking they'd be safe anywhere near the kingdom. <laughs> a Spokane woman has been told to clean her filthy house or the city will tear it down. Coincidentally, the state of Washington has imposed pretty much the same edict on Spokane. <laughs> Governor Mike Lowry announced this week that he will no longer hug or pat the backs of employees. Next week, he will announce his policy on the fronts. <laughs> a Montesano City Council member is upset that a high school biology experiment has students transfer liquids with medicine droppers to simulate sex. He said the class is clearly corrupting the students because several boys have been caught with copies of Big Droppers magazine <laughs> under their mattresses. <laughs> On May 14th, Edmonds will be holding the Running of the Balls, where they release 5,000 tennis balls down Main Street. Immediately following this event will be another event called the Scooping Up After the Golden Retrievers. <laughs> Seattle writer Walter Crowley wants to name the alley behind the Blue Moon Tavern after the late UW poet Theodore Retke, calling it Ret Retke Muse. He said it would be much better than its current name, Blue Moon Spews. <laughs> What's billed as the world's largest sign, a 1,200-foot banner listing the 64 teams that participated in the NCAA tournament, is wrapped around the inside of the kingdom. The kingdom also has the world's smallest sign, which lists all the Western Washington teams that played in the tournament. <laughs> Oh, oh. A new shuttle service is starting in Ballard in which riders stand along the street and wave down minivans. Ballard was selected because its residents already have plenty of experience in forcing vehicles off the road. <laughs> Finally, a Pasco man who was accused of killing his brother-in-law by pushing him off a cliff said he couldn't have committed the crime because he was too disabled from a recent vasectomy. He also denied ever trying to use a gun on his brother-in-law, claiming that in that case as well, he was shooting blanks. This has been the John Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back. No matter how high the thermometer climbs or how sticky the humidity gets, nothing will be hotter this summer than the deals you'll get during Jeep Summer Days, where you can get up to $1,200 in option package values on Jeep Grand Cherokee. Values over $1,300 on Jeep Cherokee Sport, including no charge air. And deals that are truly steamy on the legendary Jeep Wrangler. But you'd better hurry in, because deals this incredibly hot are bound to cool down fast. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. I am safe and sound. I'm motion censored, watchdog, doorman, security cammed, and dead bolted. So how do I get out? Life. There are passengers and there are drivers.
when delivery man Max Grabelski was framed for murder. FBI, you're under arrest! He stumbled upon the perfect cover. Look, are you scout leader? Scout leader. And they found the scout leader. We have them on the loose! Running badge time! Who's far from perfect. That's not pretty. Daniel Stern. Bushwhacked. Ready PG-13. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Miller Genuine Draft. The original cold filtered beer. As smooth as they come, as pure as it gets. Brewed with the choicest hops from here in the Northwest. Miller Genuine Draft and those who've discovered its smooth draft taste, making the Northwest a very cool place. Almost Live is sponsored in part by Cool Filtered Miller Genuine Draft, making the Northwest a very cool place. I'll never forget the day I switched. Long distance calling plans, that is. My wife was out of town, and I woke up with a gay man in my bed. <laughs> Turns out, he was a customer service representative from AT&T Gay, and apparently had broken into my apartment in the middle of the night while I was asleep. Well, as you can imagine, it took me a few minutes to recover from the shock. But afterwards, we discussed my long-distance calling needs, and he outlined the money I could save by switching over to AT&T Gay. I was impressed. Let's be honest, those other long-distance companies can be pretty annoying with their phone calls and direct mail campaigns but they won't send over a big naked gay man to surprise you in your sleep. <laughs> I still haven't subscribed to the gay lifestyle, but I am saving money with each and every long distance call. Thanks, AT&T Gay. Well, that's it. Don't forget to spring forward, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.